All right, welcome to Staircase Escalante National Monument here in Southern Utah. We have a subscriber recommendation for us. This is Cottonwood Canyon Road. We're looking forward to it. A couple spots along the way that are highlights for you. We'll take you on the tour. Here's some more detail. All right, good morning. Got a great adventure planned for today. Got three brothers from the church with me. We're having a phenomenal time out here in Southern Utah. Just spent the night camping out in one of my all-time favorite towns, Kanab, Utah. We're pulling out of Kanab about an hour and a half to Cottonwood Canyon Road. And that is 47 miles of sheer adventure. And as we're gonna be driving up an unpaved road from the Kanab area to uh, Kodachrome State Park. Gonna hit some things along the way. Got a good container of cottage cheese in me right now. So I am fueled and ready for the day. Thanks for traveling with us. All right, let the adventure begin. Here you go, Navigator Dan. I think you're gonna like that. Oh, yeah. Check oh, that out. Look at this. Now that's a map. We could do some serious navigation with this one. You guys ready? Oh, we're rolling. Map we are. Here you go, Jefferson. We're here. We want to go there. We're going to look at this, 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 and this. <laughs> the beautiful thing about adventures like this is you just see cool stuff along the way, and sometimes you might need to just pull over, even if it's not on the itinerary. From Life Elevated Utah, even if you never set your foot outside your car, the fascinating scenery is more than worth it. But if you packed your camera, water, snacks, maps, and hiking shoes, and the unpaved roads conditions are good, then expect, even in a two-wheel drive car, an adventure worth riding home about. So throw in a great playlist, roll the windows down, and breathe in these 47 miles of adventure. All right, Hackberry Canyon and Yellow Rock. Those are our two destinations on this hike. Hackberry Canyon, four mile round trip. Yellow Rock, 2.5 mile round trip. There is a pull off on the road and a parking lot. And the trailhead is right there to both of these locations. And we're gonna cross a little stream right here and get on our way. This is a special trail. I never knew about this place. Really impressive, beautiful. The uh, water is, at this time, I'm sure it fluctuates throughout the year, probably ankle depth at most. But unlike other slot canyons I've done in the past, the water is extremely warm. Um, be nice to run into a little pocket, a little pool of water, jump in and cool off. This is pretty. That's how America's Parks cools off on a hot day. So we've officially arrived at what they call the cow gate. That's about two miles upstream, I think. We, I mean, I think we can go around it, but uh, that's as far as we're gonna go. We're gonna head back and try to find Yellow Rock. So it actually looks like there's a uh, door here, right there on the, uh, the right side if you wanna keep going. But we're gonna turn back, grab a bite to eat.
So we are officially right now starting hike number two, same parking lot. This is Yellow Rock, 1.25 miles each way. Internet says three hour total. I think we can knock it off in less than that. We're gonna bang out this hike, get to the top of Yellow Rock, uh, give you some footage, and then we gotta move on. We got two more sites to still see after this, and it's already three o'clock in the afternoon. We're gonna run out of daylight. Let's move, guys. All right, here's where the fun begins. We're going vertical, baby. This is steep. They warned us. Is that C4 kicking in yet? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Halfway up. Half a can. Let's see if it'll get me all the way. Run all four. Yeah. Get up this steep section right here. You're right back there, Jason. Yeah, I got three points of contact. Sure. Oh, man. Super steep. All right, let's finish. Oh, oh. Yeah. Woo. Oh, no. We're not at the top yet. More to go. So to get to this point for the two old men, I think we've gone about as far as we desire to go. We can see yellow rock behind you. Jeff, you're fine going to the base. Dan, you want to climb to the top, don't you? You want to get to the top of yellow rock? Yeah, the only concern is time right now because we got two more stops we want to make. But now I see why they're saying three hours round trip. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's been a, a beast so far. Pretty steep. We're only climb. halfway, and, uh, and it's going to take a little bit out of your legs. Yeah. All right, guys, go for it. Hey, way to make it to the top of Yellow Rock. Maybe what they call FKT, fastest known time. Did you time yourself? I timed myself just to make our... Uh, our time hack for the for the descent, but um, you get about halfway, you think you're at the top and you're not, you'll look out, you'll actually see the yellow rocks out in the distance. And from there, you got maybe another half mile. Uh, pretty tough, but totally worth it at the top. You got an awesome uh, view from the top, 360 view, wow. um, just careful on the descent, but really awesome. God made these mountains and you get to climb them. That was really impressive. Good job. America gives, America's Parks gives credit where credit is always due. Amazing. <laughs> All right. I've cotton mouth myself here. I need some water. Good job. So this is an unmarked stop. We noticed what appears to be a cave on the side of the road. Thought we'd pull over and check it out. All right, there's the cave right there. Looks like Dan's gonna give it a shot right now. So the cave doesn't go all the way through and the climb up to the top of it is definitely a little dicey, but uh, interesting stop along the way. All right, let's go on to our third official stop now. We're running out of sunlight. Thanks for the avalanche, guys. <laughs> so this is the Cottonwood Narrows right now, and unlike the last riverbed, this one is bone dry. We're gonna hike into it momentarily. About five o'clock, I am running out of gas, but we wanna hit this, we wanna hit the arch, and then I think we're gonna call it a day. So compared to the last canyon, as you can see, there's more vegetation here. Walls are more imposing, uh, less color, but uh, just more immense as the cliffs go straight up. Another beautiful location, definitely much drier than the last canyon we walked through as well. This is really pretty. Every once in a while you come across these tributaries in the wash Look at that, just eating away at that sandstone. What do you think, Jason? I, I swear it's just like being in on a white sand beach in Aruba or somewhere <laughs> in the Caribbean. It's so fine and cool, so cold, just like so nice. All right, so we just took a left. We're exploring a different tributary. What do you got, brother? It's like a whole other uh, slot canyon, uh, narrow, <laughs> undiscovered. Like it's not even on the, on the highlight reel. Walls are uh, a little closer to the inside of the trail, but just as tall. It looks like it has really tight turns up here ahead. Let's go up a little bit. This is one of the most impressive dead ends I've ever seen in my life. Can you imagine when this thing is flowing during a flash flood and the water is coming out from the top of that canyon into the base of the floor right here? Wow, that is. That is beautiful. That is so impressive, so massive.
Wow, what a full day, but an incredible day. We're heading to the end of the road here. And the final stop is the Gross Venner. I think we're pronouncing that correctly. Gross Venner Arch, that's one of the highlights of this trip. Jason, you're calling it Gross Dinner Arch, aren't you? <laughs> I'm it's, getting kind of hungry, right? It's seven o'clock and we barely had any lunch. So uh, this should be good. Let's, t let's go to the Arch and then we'll call it a day. We were able to get past the uh, four cows, but this guy is, um, he's parked right in the middle of the road. <laughs> or she doesn't look like she's going anywhere. The Sandstone Arch, and I'm going with Groves Venner, is actually two arches which tower 150 feet above the ground. The largest arch is nearly 100 feet in diameter. The paved quarter mile trail takes you through the large sage field to the base of the arch. Hey, that's the end of the line right there, the north side of Kinewood Canyon Road. And if you have more time on your hands, look at this. Look what's waiting for you. Dakota Chrome Basin State Park. What a great day. All right, well, thanks for joining us on this special journey today. Cottonwood Canyon Road. This is how we train here at America's Parks. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. And remember, here at America's Parks, when we're in beast mode, there's always room for you on every national park adventure. God bless you. <laughs>